game for a whole game? I think obviously they have a few chances across the game, so do we, but disappointed. We've been unbeaten for 12 games and we lose 1 0, but I'm proud of the team that I play for and I'm proud of all the boys of how they performed and I think we'll only keep growing. Manager was disappointed with the referee and it was up to the Celtic goal. Did you see that? Did you think it was a foul as well? It's a foul, realistically, it's a foul, and I think everyone who watches it will know it's a foul. But think when you're away and the crowd don't cheer for you to get a foul, it doesn't get given, but anything their crowd cheer for is a whistle and a free kick, so you have to expect it. So it made a difference I just think, as I said, that when their crowd make a noise, a big noise, and the referee gives them everything, and when you have obviously only a small portion of the crowd and you don't get a noise, then there was a lot of play on when they made fouls. Or, but I'm not going to sit here and criticise it because at the end of the day we've lost the game and yeah it's a foul in the build up but I can't just only blame them. Did the players stop? Um, did, 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 you, did you click the whistle? No I don't know, it carried on playing but realistically we're about to win the ball on the edge of their box and next minute our players on the floor and they're running away with it so what you want to do is he's on the floor, he can't do anything, he can't. Well, I mean, just, sorry, did you, did you guys stop? Did, did, no, we carried, that, on, we carried on defending. No, we carried on defending but their players are able to run 80 yards with the ball. You can't stop it, we're marking a striker, but realistically it's a foul. You were booked for a free kick incident, how did you see it? Did you see it? Yeah. What did you think? Well. Put it this way, if that, make, if that makes someone go to ground, then I must be the strongest man in history. Because my one finger must be so strong that that makes someone go to ground. But again, the crowd make a noise, it's a free kick. And I get the other card. Too easy. No, I just listen. I'm not going to come here and blame the referee for our <coughs> performance, but I thought we give a good account of ourselves. But at crucial times in games, when it doesn't go your way, obviously you feel disappointed. You were under siege for long periods. Was there a point where you thought we're going to see this through? We can maybe break score. No, I think we give them a little bit too much respect first half. I don't think we really got out and pressurised them. I think we let them play and we defended a little bit too deep. I think second half the game is in the balance. I think we started playing football a little bit more like we do. And I think just before they score, I think you start to hear their crowd getting a little bit edgy, a bit. Their players start forcing things a little bit, and it's, that's what we wanted. That's what we knew would happen. And the game plan was working, but then obviously the goal lifts them, lifts the whole team, lifts the crowd, and then it was a tough time to get back. How do you see the, the gap between the teams? For not, big, the not big. Obviously, this is the first time I've played in the derby, but I've just said that when I come here in pre season, I heard a lot of people saying, how much better they were, how uh, they beat Rangers 5-0 last year and I thought they were going to be like Barcelona. But I'm not, And I'm not just saying that, I thought there was such a down within our own football club of how big the gap was that I think it was like some of our players, that are maybe not here anymore, but we're looking at them like they're nowhere near catchable. And to be honest, I'm not going to say they're not a good team, they're a good team. Um, I think they deserve respect. Um, but I think we're getting closer. I think the players that the manager's brought in, I think we've been together for, what, two, three months. And I think we're going to get closer. You're not playing them again until the end of December. Were you pushing you can play them again next weekend at Highland? <laughs> no, I think I need a rest. <laughs> uh, it's been a long few months. We've played a lot of football, and I think the whole team need a rest. But we've just got to go on another run now. Um, we're unbeaten in 12 games, which I think is good for a team that's literally just come together. There's been 13, 14 new faces. Um, so we've just got to come back refreshed, go on another run and then get ready for December when the next one comes. Is that just 90 minutes and we see how close the teams are, does that give you a firm your confidence of what you can achieve this season? Yeah, 100%. Um, listen, I said at the start I'm proud to be in this team. I think they gave everything, each to a man gave absolutely everything and I think the game plan was right. Maybe it was a little bit too deep in the first half but we were frustrating them. Um, they had a few chances, they are a good side but I feel like we're going to get close to them. Do you expect the title race to go the distance this year because the previous seasons has been over quickly for Celtic? I, I can't sit here after three games or four games and say... The way you are progressing in there. Yeah, no, I think that we'll definitely, we'll definitely give everything. As I said, we just need to go on a run ourselves now after the international break and win games of football every week and then we'll see where it takes us. Connor, to go back to the point you were making about the referee being influenced by the crowd's decisions, how much would it have helped Rangers to have more support this year? I don't know because even if there's 7,000 Rangers fans, there's still, what, 53,000 Celtic fans. So I just think it's 
uh, important for the official to be strong and just play the game himself. He doesn't have to give a free kick when the crowd's up or if it's not a free kick, do you know what I mean? Just play the game yourself. But listen, I'm not here to criticise him. He's got a tough job. It's probably one of the best atmospheres in the world at both stadiums, so they're probably going to get swayed a little bit. But as I said, I'm not here to criticise him. I just think that in the goal, he's made a wrong decision. The manager said after the game that he's trying to sign Jared McCauley, who's got another central defender going. Yeah. But did he relish that competition? Yeah, definitely. I think that every team I've ever played in had four centre offs, and you you probably need it throughout the season. We're going to play probably up to sixty games maybe this year with the Europa League now, and we're going to need faces and we're going to need bodies and competition and people putting everyone on their toes and hopefully it gets done. And there's another face in our squad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.